Monkey Lives! By Lynn, Salmon, Elizabeth, Ryan, and William. If you think that Superman or Spider-Man has been around a long time, think about... Monkey! He has been China's favorite superhero for at least five centuries. He's amazingly strong, he can fly, and he has a few tricks those other superheroes never heard of. And he's always ready to do battle with demons, dragons, sometimes even the gods. Monkey stars in The Journey to the West, an epic comic fantasy from the 16th century. The part retold here is about how Monkey's taken off to the land of death, but not for long. On the surface of the eastern sea, not far from the dragon's palace, Monkey landed lightly on a barren rock that jutted above the waves. Stretching himself on out it, he yawned and then studied the sky. Now that I'm an immortal, I think I'll fly up to heaven and become a god as well. But that's all after a good nap. He closed his eyes and quickly drifted into sleep. All at once, Monkey felt himself jerked onto his feet. Huh? Two men were clutching his ears. One man had the face of a horse, the other had the head of an ox. Horse face held an official document which he had studied closely. Is your name Monkey? That's right! All right, get moving. They started to drag him off. Stumbling once, Monkey happened to glance back. There he saw himself still lying on the ground. Where is this? And how did I get here? He want to know how he got here. You got here the same way as everyone. After a while, they came to the wall of a city. Above the gate was an iron placard with characters inlaid in gold. Demon Gate of the Land of Darkness. Land of Darkness? But that's the realm of Yama, Lord of the Dead. I don't belong here. That's what they are saying. Okay. But I'm an immortal. I've gone beyond death. Tell it to a judge. Oh, what? Ah, well. Monkey snatched his staff from its hiding place in his ear. Wow! And in half a moment, he was swinging five feet of it. We didn't mean it! Cried horse face fleeing through the gate. Can't you take a jog? Monkey followed them in, still swinging his staff. The demons of the city were terrified, and not one of them dared get in his way. By the time Monkey reached the Palace of Darkness, Lord Yama was waiting on the steps. Sir, what seems to be the trouble? The trouble? The trouble is you from me here! No, that but sir, I assure you, you will be judged fairly and punished. I mean re-educated strictly according to your past deeds. Then, when the evil you've done has been avenged, I mean corrected, you will be returned to the land of life for a brand new life. I don't want to be reborn. I don't want to die in the first place. Don't you realize I'm an immortal? An immortal? There must be some kind of mistake. Exactly. I demanded to see the register of life and death. Yama led him into the Hall of Darkness, where a clerk dragged out several musty volumes. Monkey searched till he found his name. Writing brush! And the clerk gave him one dip in ink. Monkey blotted his name from the register. That should do it! This is most irregular. Tell that to the judge! He slammed the book shut and rushed out. Then he made his way back to the city wall, swinging his staff as he went. Just outside the gate, Monkey tripped and fell rolling. When he opened his eyes, he was back on the rock in the eastern sea. Wonderful! Cried Monkey as he jumped to his feet. Next up, heaven! The end!